Beach. George Kondo is an American contemporary visual artist who works in painting, drawing, sculpture, and printmaking. He lives and works in New York City. Kondo studied art history and music theory at the University of Massachusetts Lowell. Balancing both music and art, he met Jean-Michel Basquiat for the first time in 1979 after Basquiat's band opened for Kondo's. Shortly after, Kondo moved to New York City to pursue his art career as an artist. He emerged in the East Village art scene in the early 1980s and coined the term artificial realism, the realistic representation of that which is artificial, to describe his hybridization of traditional European old master painting with an influence by American pop. Along with Basquiat and Keith Haring, Kondo's efforts partake in the international revival of painting from the 1980s onward. His first public exhibitions took place in the East Village galleries from 1981 to 1983. During this time, he worked in Andy Warhol's factory, primarily in the silkscreen production studio, applying diamond dust to Warhol's myth series. Though the artist only met Warhol a couple times, Warhol later purchased several paintings from Kondo's first show. When asked about how he manages to work so quickly, Kondo shrugged, saying, One of the things I have to say that's puzzling to me is artists who work slowly. I find that really bizarre, because it just doesn't take that long to put a line down on a canvas. I don't want to sit back and say, Wow, it's going to take me 15 minutes to decide if a line should go here or there. The quicker you work, the better. In his third time meeting Andy Warhol, Kondo was working on a mural in Keith Haring's studio. Upon arriving at Haring's and seeing Kondo at work, Warhol asked, Do you just go up to the painting and do whatever you like? Kondo told him yes, and Warhol replied, Gee, I can never do that. He then moved his career to Los Angeles, and then to Germany. Between 1985 and 1995, he lived and worked, mostly in hotels and rented studios between Paris and New York, while continuing to exhibit in the United States and Europe. Fast forward to 2010, Kondo collaborated with Kanye West and created a series of paintings for West's album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. The artwork was done in Kondo's New York studio after West visited for several hours and they listened to tapes of the music. Over the next few days, he made around eight to nine paintings for the album. According to Kondo, West requested that the original cover image be provocative enough to be banned by retailers as a publicity stunt. In 2020, Kondo collaborated with rapper Travis Scott for Scott's single, Franchise. Kondo has exhibited extensively in the United States, Europe, and Asia. His works have been included at many prestigious museums with permanent collections at the Whitney Museum of American Art the Museum of Modern Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and so on. George Kondo's work is known for a cast of characters whose bulging eyes, bulbous cheeks, proliferating limbs, and hideous over and under bites set them apart as singular species. He calls his surrealistic style psychological cubism, exploiting our own imperfections the private, off moments or unseen aspects of humanity that often give way to some of painting's most beautiful moments. We can spot similarities in his paintings such as Superman, Droopy Dog Abstraction, Stumphead, Green Uncle Joe, and Orange Couple. Let's take a closer look. Here we have Superman. This painting was featured in a collab with Supreme 
printed on a limited edition skate deck in 2010. Notice the distinction in Superman's eyes, cheekbones, and mouth. This painting takes a similar design to his 2017 screen print, Droopy Dog Abstraction, with both figures centered, shown with a random object on top of both their heads. In this case, we have a carrot and a finger. The ears in these pieces also make a statement. Superman is shown with lit cigarettes in his ears, whereas Droopy Dog's ears are filled in with shades of yellow-orange to balance out the color scheme of the artwork. Kondo says, what's possible with painting that's not in real life is you can see two or three sides of a personality at the same time. His single greatest influence is Pablo Picasso. Kondo studied the modernist work as a young painter while living in Paris in the late 1980s to the early 1990s, both in technique and composition. Like Picasso, Kondo sought to interpret portraiture through the process of dismantling and putting back together, while still representing his subject. In Stumphead, Kondo pays homage to Picasso, not only in style and form, but also in the figure's striped top, which is probably a nod to Picasso's signature Breton shirt. Kondo says, I don't want to simply look at Picasso on the wall or read about Picasso. I want to actually paint through him. I want to paint through Picasso. Stumphead illustrates the artist's signature distorted features. The bulbous nose, protruding ears that we mentioned earlier, gnarly teeth, and a head that fuses into the body below. He said, Picasso painted a violin from four different perspectives at one moment. I do the same with psychological states. I'll put them all in one face. For those who have kept up with Kondo, his current exhibition mostly fulfills expectations. Among the pictures are a drawing of a physically stunted butler named Willie with an enlarged eye and a separated left shoulder. There's also a crayon on paper image of a deranged clown with a smeared face plopped atop a billowing Elizabethan collar and an enormous painting of an overly delicate blonde fashion model with one eye and two sets of teeth. These are perverse pictures of ugly people, done in a style palatable to anyone with even the slightest taste for modern painting. Garnering an audience of celebrities and fellow contemporary artists, Kondo's uniquely provocative works have invited many interested, high-profile collectors. In May 2018, Nude and Forms, created in 2014, culminated for $6,162,500 at Christie's New York. Edmund Francie, the International Director of Post-War and Contemporary Art at Christie's London, says, The history of American painting is one of the constant search for a hero, and the latest hero is surely George Kondo. Thank you.